Welcome effortless swimmers to another week of swimming news. This week we look at what to do if you're getting gassed quickly in your races. So how to have more energy for the second half of your race. We also give you some sprinting tips that will help bring down your 50 and your 100 meter times. And we also look at some ways to improve your kick without following the black line up and down. If you find in your races that you're getting gassed quickly and you haven't got that much energy at the back end of your race, it might be because you're not breathing enough. So when I do video analysis for swimmers in our SwimProve membership community, the swimmers that are having trouble backing up the second half of their race are usually breathing every three or four strokes and it's denying their body the oxygen that it needs to fuel itself for the second half of the race. So if you try breathing every two strokes or a mixture of every three and two, then you might find you've got more energy to finish off strong. If you want to improve your sprinting, then let's keep it really simple. If you've got a strong kick and a high stroke rate, and you're able to maintain your stroke length, of course, then you'll improve your sprinting. So next time you're in training, if you're thinking about having a strong kick and a high stroke rate, then they're two of the fundamentals of being a good sprint freestyler. There's a few ways to improve your kick without following the black line up and down. A few things that we like to do in training are the first one is vertical kick. It's where you're in the water, you're upright, you're, you've either got your arms crossed against your chest, your hands out or your hands in streamlined position if you really want to challenge yourself. And if you do that for a couple minutes at a time, you'll find that your kick develops and becomes much stronger very quickly because vertical kick is quite challenging. Uh, another thing you can do is you can kick against the wall. You might go 60 seconds on, 30 seconds off. But for that 60 seconds, if you do 40 seconds at a medium pace, 20 seconds hard, that will tire you out pretty quick, quickly and improve the strength of your kick. And the final thing that you can do to improve your kick without following the black line up and down is if you've got a partner in the water, grab a kickboard, someone goes on the one side, someone goes on the other side, and you're kicking against each other, trying to push the other person backwards. And if you're doing that for 30 to 60 seconds at a time, it's very challenging, it's very tiring, but it's a good way to develop your kick. When I have new swimmers join the squad, a lot of times they'll ask why we do skull, because we do quite a bit of skull in our swimming training. And there's two reasons why I like to do it. The first one is it works on good positioning for your catch. So if you're doing skull out the front, then we're practicing the catch position for our freestyle and our butterfly and breaststroke as well, where you've got a high elbow and your hand is lower than your elbow, and you're just practicing that initial catch position. So that's one of the reasons. And the other reason is it's good for practicing your feel of the water. So when you're pulling through, if you're slipping through the water, then you haven't got a feel for the water. But if you're practicing scale, you'll find that you get a feeling for what it's like to hold that water and move yourself through it. So a few keys with sculling, if you look at the video here, is you wanna keep your hand and your forearm very straight so that you can hold water with that whole part of your arm rather than just your hand. And it's a figure eight motion, so it's thumbs up and then thumbs down as you sweep out. Uh, so there are two ways to improve your skull, and improving your skull will improve your catch and your feel for the water in swimming. This week in our Swimproved community, I spoke about a massive mistake that I made last week in an open water training session that involved a helicopter rescue. So members of Swimprove can log in and see that now, uh, where I've put some details about a big lesson that I've learned uh, in communication when out in the open water. This week we hit 10,000 fans on our Facebook page, so I want to thank all of you who are fans of our Facebook page at facebook.com forward slash effortless swimming. We've got a giveaway. Michael Klim's donated three milk skincare packages for us to give away to our fans. So head over to our Facebook page and you can find out more about that. That's it for Serene News this week. We've got more videos coming. We've got more tips, more articles, more ideas for you to help improve your swimming. So stay tuned. We'll be back next week with another Swimming News video.